This here is a song I wrote about my granddaddy and his life and how much he meant to me. And there's a lot to tell, so it's pretty long. It was the sixth day of November in Wrightsville, Georgia, 1919 more. Naomi Ivy bore John Johnson's second son, the last child of four. Little did they know when he'd grow up, what a great man he would be. They named their newborn baby boy Buford, and he would become the king of the world to me. His family moved to South Carolina during the Great Depression when he was young. They settled in the valley in clear water between number one and 421. And that's where he'd grow up and eventually meet his wife. And that's where he'd begin to become the man he was where he'd spend the rest of his life. He'd ride his bike and he'd hitchhike for fun all through his early teens. That's when he began to pick the guitar and him and his buddies would play and sing. Then from Langley Bath High School in May 1938, He'd be the first of his family ever to graduate. He met a beautiful girl who lived near him named Hazel Christine. He was 22 when they married and she was just a week shy of 17. She loved her handsome Buford, he loved his Hazel with all his heart. And hand in hand they would stay together until death would do them part. They moved to Augusta then Langley and built their family in the next few years that came. A beautiful baby girl in 46, Judy Darlene was her name. Their first son in 49, they named him James Ray. Then in 52, they were through. The third and last, a son named Daryl Wayne. He'd work days at DuPont, then nights and weekends with his band. He'd sing and pick his guitar with a few musician friends. Live shows on the radio, a festival, a party or a honky-tonk dance. Professionally known all around home as a group called the Plowhands. But one day he put his guitar down and decided to set music aside and devote more of his time to his children and his wife. And then later on they built a brand new home down the road in Piney Heights. They moved in in May of 65 and that's where he'd live out his life. May 19 and 69, his first granddaughter, Dana, was born. Then after 20 years at DuPont, he retired in 74. That same November, granddaughter, Jenny, June 77, grandson, Lee. Then in March 19 and 80, his grandson, Donald, would complete his family tree. Shortly thereafter, I was a young boy ready for any and everything. And he was my granddaddy, and to me he was a king. And 
I loved seeing my grandparents so much Every summer I'd go stay Grandfather and grandson, so much fun A new adventure every day He had an old baby blue Mercury And we'd go cruise around We'd laugh and talk and sing in the summer heat With all the windows down And then we'd take his metal detectors To the old schoolyard playground Bottle caps, pull tabs and coins I was proud of everything we found We'd rummage through old junk cars at Morell's garage Looking for old license plates And then we'd go have a hamburger for lunch At L&M Cafe And I'd get so excited every time we'd pass The old Greg Highway ball fields Cause we'd be on our way to look at old graves Together up on Cemetery Hill We'd walk and talk the rest of the day and read old tombstone epitaphs. He'd tell me about old local legends and about old times long past. It interested me so much I'd never want the day to end. So the next morning we'd pack us a picnic lunch and ride back up to the old graveyard again. And I remember once when one of his old friends came by the house to say hello I sat in the den and listened to them talk about playing music long ago He said, Buford, you were good, have you ever thought about giving it another chance? He smiled at Grandmama and said, not for a million dollars would I play another dance? Then as I approached my teenage years His health really began to fail He'd survived a heart attack in 78 And he surprised himself Then a heart bypass in 87 Once again he'd win but by then his spirit had begun to weaken And his age was catching up with him Especially then we'd just sit up and talk Most times all night long He'd tell me lessons from his life Learned first hand and right from wrong Every smile and every story Every day and every night I treasure all our time together More than anything in my life It was Friday night, the 18th of June, 1993 I'd just come home from a picture show Just before I turned 16 I was standing in my mama's kitchen when the telephone rang I picked it up and said hello And it was my Uncle Wayne Not sounding like himself he said y'all need to come on home and without thinking, I replied, why, what's going on? He thought I was my father, he did not realize. And in a tone of voice I'd never heard, he said, y'all's daddy just died. That night he'd gotten dizzy, Walking toward the back of the house He hollered out and Grandmama rushed to him To help him sit down 
But the angels beat her to him To bring him away from pain and harm And his heart of gold gave out on him And he died in grandmama's arms We buried him on Father's Day Up on Cemetery Hill I loved him more than anything and I always will I thought granddaddy would live forever That nothing could ever hurt him at all But a boy became a man that day As he watched his hero fall To me no other man will ever stand quite so tall he had seen everything and he had done it all And I can only hope years from now a grandson of mine might see me the same way Because he'll always be my hero And I hope I'm just like him someday